Okay, let's see if this works out. Hello, folks. My name is Oscar. I am the early bird reseller. This isn't the way I'm going to be doing my videos, but this is just my first one to test. Um, just a quick about myself. I guess I've been reselling about a year uh, and started about August of 2019. However, I have been reselling prior to that without knowing what I was really reselling. Uh, you know, Facebook market and so forth like that, uh, flea markets. But uh, by August, I started doing uh, August 2019. We're in August 20. Uh, but August uh, 2019, I started uh, eBay. I am a record collector and I decided to start re selling some of my, my, uh, my records. That's how I started. Um, um, so the idea about this channel is like others, um, showing you what I find at garage sales, yard sales, estate sales, Facebook market, uh, stuff that friends have, stuff that you've had, stuff that you have in your closet, in your garage, things that you don't use anymore that you know what, you can get some bucks for. Um, and the idea is to share the wealth of uh, information, stuff that we find and stuff that uh, can help you um, increase your income. Uh, nothing's guaranteed when it comes to income, but hey, you know what? Part of it is fun. Part of it is, is finding stuff um, and so forth. But anyway, let's get to it. I wanted to try to do the first video uh, a little bit more professional. Um, I've been trying to do it since January, February of this year. Uh, that didn't happen. And then the pandemic and all. So you you, you get it. But anyway, so the other videos that we're going to do, we're going to actually show you um, what we bought um, what we paid for it and what it went for. Now, part of it's not to say, hey, we made X dollar amount or we made 100% profit or whatever. The idea is to show you what to look for when you go to garage sales, yard sales, estate sales, or something that you have there. So anyway, um, like I said, we're at the end of August of 2020, uh, and I finally decided to go to my first yard sale uh, since April of 2020 so I've been out of I haven't bought anything however the good thing about it is that I've had plenty of inventory I bought plenty of stuff you know back from August uh, uh, you know September October and so forth January February and the good thing about it I've had that stuff and I finally got around to storing it and you'll see in the other videos on as to what exactly I sold and how much we got for it but Finally, at the end of August, today, Saturday, we went to a garage sale. I decided, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go out. Yes, I was kind of hesitant to go out, but I decided it was right down the street from my house, and it was a moving sale, so I said, okay, let's, let's do it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of things that we found, stuff that you can look for, and uh, I'm going to show you some bolos, and the bolos, of course, is be on the lookout. So anyway... We want to help you guys out. So uh, there are a lot of channels that have been helping me out. So uh, I will drop out, drop a link down below, uh, either this video, the next video, as we go along uh, and give these guys props, uh, these men and women who are out there doing the same thing I am. And a lot of them doing been doing it, but longer than I have. Some are newer. And uh, well, anyway, let's get, let's get to it. Let me tell you what we got, how much we paid for it. And I think what we can get. Now, the cool thing about it, everybody likes the thermal uh, cups, tumblers. But it's kind of rare that you find one new. This, however, as you can tell, has already been personalized. But that's cool because these are vinyl letters. Now, the cool thing about me finding this product is that my wife actually works on these. So... Instead of her going out and buying this thing for $10 and then redoing it for somebody, uh, these things eventually turn out to be about 55 bucks when she does it. But anyway, so now, now these things don't really, they're about $10, but as you can tell, it's brand new. So anyway, this is going to go within to our other business of making cups. But anyway, it, this is... Uh, about 60 cents what I paid for it today. Not bad. Brand new, about $10. Uh, 
but um, the same thing. Here's a smaller one, another 60 cents. This is about $15 worth of uh, product uh, that eventually we, in our business, we're going to turn this into about a hundred dollars. So anyway, um, that's totally different. Uh, mugs, mugs, everybody likes mugs. These mugs are in excellent condition. Now, pick these up. Oftentimes when you're in a garage sale, you say, hey, how much do you want for this? How much do you want for that? Usually you end up bundling stuff and then they give you this crazy price and you take it. But anyway, we bought mugs, these mugs. These are excellent mugs. They're peanuts. Paid again, about 60 cents a piece. Now, after looking these up, these are going to bring me 15 to about $25 a piece. So look out for mugs. All right. Mugs, mugs. This is a cool hat. This is this was in the free pile. Okay. Always go when you're at a garage sale, yard sale. There's a free pile. So anyway, this cap, and I, I really don't know how to pronounce it. Not, you know what? And I got everything backwards. I, I apologize. I should have done it the other way. As he as uh, him, something like that. Well, anyway, this is a. Uh, I think it was like a um, a sports company, uh, and apparently in two thousand, I think I was reading in two thousand, they started doing the uh, like the spray painted version. I am thinking that I'm going to put this up in auction. I'm hoping to get thirty to forty bucks for it. This is a free item. Always look out for your free items. Look out for free stuff. This is a ground fault circuit interrupter. 60 cents. Looked it up. It's going to bring me about 10 bucks profit after shipping. All right. Books sealed. Chicken soup for the soul. Mom knows best. Uh, bring you. It's going to bring me about uh, 10 bucks profit. I'm going to put it for about probably $13 to 10 to $13 with free shipping. And we'll talk about free shipping and shipping later on. But this is still going to bring me maybe eight to $10 profit, 60 cents, 66 cents. Um, always look for stuff. Sewing, Singer, Butt Magic, Sewing Travel Kit, brand new, sealed. Again, this is going to bring me about eight to $10 profit after fees. I'll tell you um, why, how, how I'm basing this. Uh, this. This stuff is going to go free. I'm going to ship this for free. And the reason I'm going to ship this for free is because it's under a pound. Um, it's kind of a way to entice people into free shipping. Um, it's going to cost me about $2.80 to send this first class in a padded envelope. So um, I'll put about 10 to $11 and hopefully after fees and so forth to bring me money again 60 to 66 cents okay games i usually don't deal with games this is a game from i want to say it's a 2009 um i'm gonna probably sell this locally and, and i'll tell you why i don't send these big games on, in through the mail people do it all the time and eventually i'll do it um right now i just don't i'm not doing it so Anyway, 66 cents, 60 cents for this game. Uh, I, I want to say that the, this is only going for about 15 bucks or $14 or so. Not bad. Bought a lot of stuff. I bought some curtains, some brand new curtains, about $30, $25 worth of curtains for five bucks. That's for us. Yoga mat. Dollar. Yes, these are only about seven bucks, but no, I don't do yoga. This is because our cats like to scratch. So this is to put around things. I know. Another cool cat. Look for, like in, in Austin. I live in Austin. And we have the Texas Chili Partner. So this is a cool hat. It's brand new. Free. Um, I don't know. Maybe 10, 15 bucks. Something like that. Um, I'm not going to make this video long because... I did buy other stuff, and I, like I said, I, I've been wanting to start this video. I just haven't gotten off my ass, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, it's something's never worked out right. 
Now, when you excuse my hair, I, I haven't had a haircut since March. So, next time you see me, I will be shaving. I will have a haircut, and I won't have sideburns. All right. Anyway, my biggest, I think, profit is going to be my buy. Pencils. Yes, pencils. Now, let me tell you about these. These are called Big Dippers. Bonded JR Moon 600. These are thick, thicker pencils, okay? These are really made for like kindergartners, uh, ki little kids with uh, with small fingers. They can grab them. Now, the cool thing about these, bought them in a box. I bought two boxes. Six dozen in each box. Again, about 66 cents for the box. So, do the math. 60, about 60, 66 cents for six dozen. These are going at certain stores, office supply stores, for a box is about 45 bucks. Uh, even at your Wally Marts, a dozen is going for just under 12 bucks for shipping. Okay. Comps on these on eBay, even three of them or two of them. People are selling them for $1.75 a piece. Now, you have to look at it this way. Right now, school's starting. Little kids, this is great for little kids. Now, what parents going to go, yeah, 12 bucks is not a lot. To some parents, it is. But what parent really needs this many, especially for a, a kindergarten? That's why you're going to have to sell them individually as well. So my idea is sell them by the dozen and or sell them individual. I'm gonna put different lots. I'm not gonna sell the box. I, I don't think it's, to me, yes, it's faster money, but I think I'll be able to make my money in selling a dozen or selling three or four at a time. And if I do sell two or three, three or four at a time, I may charge as much as seven bucks. I mean, uh, free shipping, it's not gonna cost me much, but you do the math, pencils, now, always look out for vintage pencils as well. Um, and we'll get more into that. But this is what you call a bolo. Be on the lookout. Guys, thanks. Um, oh, and excuse my miss. This, this is the area that I'm working in right now. And uh, um, I hope that, that, you know, you guys enjoyed the video. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I'm going to have a lot more information. In fact, I've in the past year i've actually run into some really good deals some toys some collectibles some records uh some cassettes some eight tracks uh, eight tracks yeah but so much stuff um i want to share this with you i want to show you you know uh what to look for for you guys who are just starting and a lot of our folks it's just like me i've been doing it for a year i know folks have been doing it for four five six seven years and we still don't know what you know, when you're looking for a certain brand, um, there's so many items. So this is about helping each other. And I hope that uh, we can bring you content. Uh, yes, look at my hair. I hope we can bring you content um, on what to look for. Um, and I also want to introduce you to the community, to a lot of the YouTubers, uh, the Instagrammers, uh, the Facebook groups that have helped me along the line and, and uh you know, being able to identify certain brands, uh, what to look for. Um, you're not always going to have luck. It's it's uh, it's going to be tough. But you know what? Sometimes you you feel good when you go out to a garage sale and you can just spend. I spent twenty bucks today. Um, my profit is going to be pretty good, especially with those pencils. Just with the pencils alone, I think I will be profiting about $120 in just those pencils by the time it's done. And I am getting ready to take photographs and sell them on Macari and sell them on eBay. Now, again, I'm the Early Bird Reseller. My name is Oscar. I hope that you guys will come back. Um, I'm going to try to do it a little bit better. We're going to give you more information. Don't forget, the Early Bird Reseller on Instagram. Uh, look for me on, on Instagram. Also, I also have a music uh, page, and that's Compadres Music, Compadres Music, just like it sounds. Um, also, I put a lot of my records there. Uh, if anybody's interested in records, uh, hit me up. Um, I, I really specialize in Tex-Mex music, but we, we find all sorts of stuff. So 
I hope you guys uh, will join me on Instagram. I hope you guys will do me a favor if you run into this video. Subscribe. Hit the notifications. Uh, somewhere around there is the subscribe button. Uh, subscribe. Hit the notification buttons. And if this is something that you guys you know, are interested or you know somebody who's starting, especially right now, you know, a lot of people are, are uh, uh, furloughed or lost their jobs. And, and I, this is a great deal. I started as a hobby, you know, and not knowing that I also got furloughed. Great this, this, this little bit of money that's coming in really helps out. I mean, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about what platforms I'm selling. I'm going to tell you a little bit uh, for those who are just starting uh, please ask me questions if you want. You can send me a comment um, or uh, the early bird reseller at Gmail um, or compadres music at Gmail. Send me a, a message. Um, I will do whatever I can to help you out because, like I said, this community, the reselling community, has really helped me out. Uh, and it's only okay. fair that we share their wealth with you guys. You're, you're going to enjoy some of my friends. I call them friends. I haven't met a bunch of them, but um, you're going to enjoy their, their content as well. And I'm hoping to bring you the same content or something similar to what they're doing to help you guys out. Again, um, I don't think I'm going to edit this video. This is different. I'm using YouTube video instead of doing the other thing. Uh, but we're going to show you some pictures. We're going to show you what we got, what we paid, and so forth. I think that's it. Once again, thank you so much.